guys, so today we're going to be going over the EGS, the extremely easy gun sight. Somebody's furiously typing enhanced envelope, but don't give me that crap. It's the extremely easy gun sight. I'm starting it. It's going to catch on. You watch. So before we get started, let's go over some keybinds. You will need your dogfight switch up, down, and center. So dogfight, missile override, and dogfight center. You're going to need your team switch, target management switch up, down, left, and right. And of course, your trigger, first and second detent. There are two ways to activate your EGS gun sight. You can put your uh, master mode into air to air and then hit AAM. I'll turn on your gun and it'll automatically be in your EGS mode. The other way, turn that off. The other way to do it is to hit your dogfight switch up. Once you have this, you're going to notice it says no rad at the top. That means your radar is turned off. To turn this on, you can team a switch up to get a crosshair. Put the crosshair near or on the target that you want to auto lock and your radar will automatically lock it. Or you can team a switch down and get the vertical scan. Vertical scan scans straight out in front of you and up, up and down, up and down, up and down. It's really good when you're in a turn, in a dogfight, and it scans up and down and gets you an auto lock without you having to do anything. Just put that line in the same plane as uh, the target, and you're going to get a lock. So let's find a target, and we'll get started. Alright, looks like we got a MiG-29 out in front of us. Not quite 10 miles out, so I'm going to go ahead and team a switch down to get the vertical scan, even though he's out in front of me. But that should still give me a lock once he's within the 10 miles. There we go. So first thing to note, now you have a range reticle around the target, counting down. Every full 360 degree turn is 12,000 feet. You see a triangle at the very top pointed straight down, that means the target is headed directly towards me. Alright, I'm going to get into a position where I can uh, show you the symbology. Alright, so before we demonstrate this, I wanted to go over the HUD symbology since it's going to be hard for me to go over it while I'm in a dogfight. So, at the very top you've got your crosshair. The crosshair is the bore sight of your gun. If you were to shoot a laser right down the barrel of your gun, the laser would come out the barrel of your gun straight out in front of you right into that crosshair. The solid and dashed circle with the inward line on the right is your range reticle. If you have a radar lock, you'll have your range reticle over the target and you'll have a solid line until you reach 12,000 feet away from the target. As soon as you hit 12,000 feet, that inner line will continue to count down and your solid circle will turn into a dashed circle. So 12,000 feet is at the top, 9,000 feet on the left, at the 6 o'clock position is 6,000 feet, and so on. So right now I'm around 3,000 feet away from the target, as you can tell by the slant range at the bottom right. You have your slant range, F is feet in hundreds of feet and then below that is your closure rate. At the bottom left of the circle you have a triangle. This triangle points the direction of flight of your target. So right now it's a little to the left of the circle at the bottom which means the target is flying away from me and a little to the right. It's pointing to the right. If it were at the very top pointing straight down it means that the target is flying directly at me. If it was at the bottom at the 6 o'clock position pointed straight up, it means the target was flying directly away from me. If it's on the right, pointed to the left, then the target is flying left of me. Next to the range pipper, you've got the EGS funnel of death. You want to put the target in this funnel. If you could imagine your bullet flight path going out and down as you fly away, that's kind of what this is showing you. Um, the lines on either side would be the tips of the wings of your target. You can change the width of the funnel based on the wingspan of your target in the DED menu. It's a little bit more advanced. I'm not going to be going over that since you don't really need to do that if you have a radar lock. At the bottom of the funnel, you've got a plus sign with two horizontal lines on either side of the plus sign. The plus sign represents a 1G maneuvering target. So a target that's flying straight and level, you put that plus on the target. You don't even need a, a, a radar lock. Pull the trigger and you're going to hit it. The horizontal lines to the right and left of the plus sign are the maneuvering potential lines. These show where the target can travel if he jinked right or left in the time that it takes for your bullet to reach him. 
So this is bullet flight time, jink distance. I guess that would be the best way I could describe it. The minus sign at the bottom is your 9G maneuvering target impact point. So if you're in a 9G pull with the, with the target, you know the target is pulling at least 9Gs. That is the impact point for a 9G maneuvering target. And then of course the entire range of Gs in between. If we didn't have a lock, we would have to guesstimate where that would be uh, based on our flight path and the Gs that we are pulling uh, in relation to our target. If we have a radar lock, we get the level 5 EGS pipper, which is the little circle in between the plus and minus symbol. So with a radar lock, you get this. So what you want to do is get the level 5 EGS pipper and funnel right out in front of the target, pull the trigger, ease up on the stick, and allow the target to fly through it. On the far right, you've got this half circle. This is your artificial horizon, as you can tell. If you pull up into the sky, this circle will get less and less of a half circle. If you point your nose down towards the ground, the circle will continue to become more complete. All right, so let's go ahead and demonstrate this so you see how it works. Put the pipper right out in front of the target, pull the trigger, and let it fly right through. Hope this helps. Way up there. Flame out.